mandatory eight count is in effect. So is the three knockdown rule. A man scored three times in a round is considered knocked out. If a man is scored at or near the bell, the count will continue until he rises or is counted out. They are wearing eight ounce gloves. We are seeing Benvenuti for the first time in a, a contest. We have seen him in his training uh, efforts. Naturally, you fight fans have seen Emil Griffith many times. Emil is the fightingest champion of our time. There's no question about that. He will give anybody a shot at the title. Benvenuti is supposed to have a flashy right hand. That's his best punch. A fair left jab, a jab that he can turn into a hook. He likes to fight at long range. He has quick hands, as you can see. Griffith is reputed to be the stronger of the two and the better in fighter. Their styles contrast a little bit. Benvenuti keeps his gloves down low, fairly low. Griffith has been told to keep his up high. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. They look a little bit slow, smaller. Benvenuti, a reach of 75 inches, has three inches in reach on Griffith. And three and a half inches in height. Griffith, the champion, wearing the white trunks. Benvenuti, the red trunks, if you're watching on color TV, or the dark trunks, if you're not. Mark Kahn is the referee, a good one. One minute left in round one. It is scheduled for 15. They are three minute rounds, of course. There's that long right hand by Benvenuti. And Griffith to the body. Ten seconds left in round one. <laughs> Facing us, Griffith is back to us. Griffith, the middleweight champion of the world. Benvenuti, the European uh, champion. Griffith is now finding his man with body punches. Calculated to slow down a fast opponent. <laughs> Griffith has all the equipment a good fighter needs. He's got a good jab, a solid left hook, a good straight right, which just missed. And very good speed, great stamina. Good countering left hook that time by Benvenuti. Benvenuti leaves himself open when he makes those gestures with his gloves. Relying on quick hands to block a punch.
Benvenuti is used to the European style where the referee breaks them almost immediately. In, in the U.S., they let them fight a little longer. seconds left in the round. Ten seconds left in the round. There's a cut on the bridge of Benvenuti's nose. There's the bell. Round three coming up. The second, a big round for Benvenuti because of the knockdown. Referee Mark Kahn getting them apart. Griffith the white trunks. Benvenuti the challenger in the darker trunks. You can see this Benvenuti has quick hands. A good overhand right by Griffith that time. You can see how to trouble getting them apart. And it's warning Benvenuti, who speaks no English. So that was a waste of time. Two minutes left in round three. This may not be a stylish fight, but it certainly is a rough one. That long reach of Benvenuti is to his advantage, as you can see. More often than not, he's got Griffith off balance. Those jabs are barely getting in there. That was a solid right hand by Griffith. punishment by Griffith is probably going to take a toll on Benvenuti. But Griffith is not fighting his fight. He's coming in wild tonight. Ten seconds left in the round. getting off fast in this round defending his championship he's in the white trunks to join us late Griffith was down for the mandatory eight count in the second round floored by Benvenuti Benvenuti won the welterweight championship in the 1960 Olympics and was voted the outstanding boxer in that tournament outpointing Cassius Clay, not in the ring, but in the voting. Clay having won the light heavyweight title that year in the Olympics. Seven, 
eight. He's taking the mandatory eight count. He says he's all right. Griffith poleaxed him with that right hand. A minute and 45 seconds to go. A great rally by Griffith. Mark Kahn, the referee, a minute and a half to go. Both have been down now. Now Griffith is showing the power that has won so many title bouts for him. A minute left in round four. Aaron Griffith Connor. Griffith seems much the stronger of the two at this point. And Ben Benuti also has slowed down. See those quick hands that Griffith has. Ten seconds left in round four. <laughs> Griffith, the white trunks, having scored that knockdown in round four, will be trying for a knockout from now on. He caught Ben Venuti with his gloves down, which is a dangerous procedure. Got them a little higher now. Ben Venuti still dangerous with that right hand. Out of schedule for 15 rounds. How long it will go is problematical. Ben Valuti a little bit more aggressive now. He's actually winding up with that right hand, telegraphing it from way back. Hard left to the pit of the stomach by Griffith. Griffith, who was in command, seems to be letting Ben Venuti take the play away from him. A minute left in round five. Griffith is warned for hitting on the break. You can see that uh, Ben Venuti rarely goes to the body. Griffith goes there a lot. That's his fort. Ten seconds left in round five. Garden, a near capacity crowd, 
Nino Benvenuti from Italy in the dark trunks. Emil Griffith from the Virgin Islands in the white trunks. Griffith defending the middleweight championship. There'll be another title bout in the garden on May 16th. Dick Tiger will defend the light heavyweight championship against Jose Torres from whom he took it. RKO General Madison Square Garden presentation. Both men have been down in this fight if you join us late. Griffith was down for a mandatory eight count in the second from a right uppercut by Ben Venuti. And an overhand right by Griffith checked Ben Venuti in the fourth round. Likewise, a mandatory eight count. Ben Venuti was the more shaken up of the two, and now he seems to have shaken up Griffith. Griffith took command in the third and fourth rounds, but now he seems to have gone into a coast. And Venuti making use of the advantage in reach that he has, three inches. Griffith seems to be laying back to counter with his right hand. And now the champion is showing respect for the challenger's punching power. Benvenuti is putt shotting pretty good at this point. And now Griffith does the same thing. Griffith letting Benvenuti beat him to the punch. Ten seconds left in round six. <laughs> Champion Emil Griffith from the Virgin Islands, 153 and a half. Nino Benvenuti from Trieste, Italy, the European middleweight champion and challenger, 159. The middleweight limit is 160 pounds. Griffith, the white trunks, Benvenuti, the red, if you're watching in color. The darker ones of you watching in black and white. Griffith was down in the second round. Benvenuti down in the fourth. The old, use the old boxing cliche. Right now, it's anybody's fight. The referee is Mark Kahn. Two minutes left in round seven. Again, Benvenuti is getting off quicker and he's got Griffith annoyed or bothered or both.
Griffith has been, uh, ever since the knockdown that he scored in the fourth, Griffith has been letting the challenger take charge for some reason. He was working the body to advantage, but now he's gone head hunting. Again, the cut has reopened on the bridge of the nose of Benvenuti. He just scored with that right uppercut. And now the cut is looking angry. Ten seconds left in round seven. There's the bell. Emil Griffith defending the middleweight championship. Strangely enough, between rounds, they failed to stem the flow of blood from the bridge of Benvenuti, and now it's spreading all over his face. The blood, I mean. Round eight is half over. Benvenuti's style now is to let Griffith come in at him, back away, and then counter. Griffith has been trying for that one-punch knockout ever since he put Benvenuti down. There it goes again. He hurt him with that right ever since he put him down in round four. No question that Griffith has the power. Ben Venuti put Griffith down in the second round with a right uppercut. one of the few sustained attacks of the fight. Ten seconds left in the round. Emil Griffith. White trunks, the shorter of the two, trying to defend the middleweight championship against Nino Benvenuti of Italy. Anybody's fight at the moment. Griffith is beating Benvenuti to the punch. Boy. And has reopened the cut on Benvenuti's nose. Elbow. Two minutes left in round nine as Mark Kahn gets him apart.
That fleeting nose is an angry proposition for Benvenuti. is getting very rugged on the inside again. Seconds left in the round. Round 10 of a 15 round middleweight championship bout. Emil Griffith, the champion, opening fast in this round. He's the shorter of the two in the white trunk. He know Benvenuti, the challenger from Trieste, Italy. Griffith from the Virgin Islands. Benvenuti's putting more power in that right hand and the left. Griffith has been swinging hard most of the time. That was a pretty good exchange. boys have gone right hand happy. They may have hurt Griffith with that Sally. We'll see. A minute left in round 10. They're in Griffith's corner. Seconds left in round 10. Griffith may have been hurt by those solid right hands. Both have been down. Benvenuti in the second. 
Griffith, or rather, Griffith in the second, Benvenuti in the fourth. That jab, a mighty important weapon for the challenger at this point. Seconds left in round 13. There's a corner of the challenger, Nino Benvenuti. He's still working on that cut on the bridge of his nose, Chicky Ferrara is leaning in from the outside. He's the only American in the corner. Bruno Amaducci, the manager, is the big fellow. And over on the right is the tra trainer Libero Golanelli. There's the corner of the champion. Gil Clancy is giving a verbal onslaught to the champion. See uh, Clancy telling Griffith what he wants. <laughs> As you saw, Griffith went tearing out there. Another warning to Benvenuti by Mark Kahn, the referee. Of course, it's academic what Mark Kahn says to uh, Benvenuti, who understands no English. He knows how to fight, though. Amos Griffith speaks very good English. Two minutes left in round 14. Just a reminder, if you joined us late, Ben Venuti connected with a right uppercut and decked Griffith in the second round, and Griffith floored Ben Venuti with an overhand right in the fourth. They are the only knockdowns in the fight. Both have counterpunched very well. At other times, both have been very awkward. Now there's a minute left in round 14.
Griffith is not fighting his fight now. He's lunging in there. Ten seconds left in the round. There's the corner of the challenger and the uh, European middleweight champion, Nino Benvenuti. Aldo Spaldi is on the steps of the corner. He's a former great Italian lightweight of quite a few years ago, and now has a very profitable business in Los Angeles. This is the 15th and final round. The title could tremble on this one. Benvenuti pounding his feet up and down. Some of that medication may hurt him, or maybe he's just loosening. Then Venuti talks back to his handlers. <laughs> Round 15, Mark Kahn has them touch gloves. Another Italian uh, middleweight challenger was winning a title in the 15th round against Jake LaMotta. Tiberio Mitri, that was, and Jake knocked him out in the 15th. Now, let's see what happens here. Not that I'm saying that uh, Ben Benuti is winning. I don't know who's winning. That's up to the two judges and the referee. And the scoring here in New York is on a rounds basis. If anything uh, kept to Benvenuti in the fight after the sixth or seventh round, it was that good left jab of his, which has repeatedly kept Griffith off balance and set the champion up for to be tagged by other punches. Now there's less than two minutes to go in the fight. Of the two knockdowns, the one scored by Griffith was the more devastating because he really had Benvenuti in trouble. That was a good right by Benvenuti. One minute left to go in the fight. We'll have an interview with the winner of the fight right after it's over. Ten seconds left in the round. In Madison Square Garden, and the ring is taking on a pandemonic excitement here. As people are storming the ring, they're getting by the police barriers, and Johnny Addy is over in the, to my left, going over the cards with Frank Morris, the uh, commissioner, and Dan Dowd, the deputy commissioner. And now Johnny's over talking to 
Mark Kahn, the referee. It could be a very close decision, of course. That's up to the two judges and the referee. The scoring in New York again on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even on an official's card. Aldo Spaldi is here, the former lightweight champion. Aldo, what did you think of the fight? I think so, you know, won from the 10 round off here. Well, we'll see what so. they say. Yeah, I hope so. And uh, should Benvenuti win, you'll be my interpreter. I will do. Okay. Here's Johnny. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision. Judge Leo Brainbaum and referee Mark Kahn both score it 10 to 5 in favor of Benvenuti. Benvenuti, Nino Benvenuti is the new middleweight champion of the world by a majority vote. Here's a disappointed Amo Griffith. Listen to this. Scores it. Nine to six for Benvenuti, the winner. And the new decision. The new middleweight champion of the world, Nino Benvenuti.